Hey crafty friends, happy Saturday to you. It's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and I have a fun, easy project to show you that is completely 199% my style. It's classic, it's fresh, I love the color that I'm using and so I'm excited to share it with you. As you're hopping on, say hi. I'd love to know where you're watching from. Um, if you have questions, let me know. I am going to see if I can find myself and quickly, uh-oh, am I on my DIY Dreaming or am I on my, no, I'm here, okay. I'm gonna quickly put my link in here and um, then we're gonna do everything start to finish and then at the very end, well, after I go off, um, I will choose someone and I will finish this craft project up. I'll let you know who it is. There we go. And I'll be sending it to them. So I want to do little blessings along the way, um, a couple times each week. So I'm just straightening my camera out because it looks like I'm tipping over. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember when I showed you these awesome buffet napkins that I picked up at uh, World Market in Boise, Idaho. At the time, I thought there was only four in here, in each one, for $10, but actually there's six. And you guys, these are the nicest quality. I'm gonna look after I'm done here online to see if you can order these online. And if you can, in a separate post, I'll let you guys know what the colors were that I chose, and I'll provide you with a link where you could actually order some if you want them to because these are so nice. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you a, just a real fun and easy way that you can decorate these um, buffet napkins. They're 100% cotton. They're so nice, they're 20 by 20. You could convert these into a pillow. It's super easy if that's what you wanted. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna just show you everything. And this is the, this, these are two of the six that I have completed this morning. Look how pretty that is. Um, here's another one. They're all, these ones are all gonna have a floral theme. So each one is gonna be slightly different, but they're gonna all go together beautifully. And I um, wanted to tell you that uh, I'm using Magnolia ink and a Magnolia stencil and I put a link with a bunch of flowers down below so that you'd be able to see it. So the ink from Magnolia that we're using today is white, and it has a white lid, and it looks like this. It's great stuff, I love it. I will um, let the all six of these dry, I'll heat set them for whoever I'm gonna mail them to, and I'll let you know after the fact who that was. So if you're watching Say Something, um, you know, whatever you want, and I'm just gonna pick one person who commented. Uh, okay, so this would be super pretty. This is that Mandela Lace stencil that would be totally great in just about any color. I wanted to just suggest this. If you just wanted something fun, the polka dots, they're called, it's part of a package of two that has mini dots and a mini plaid. That would be super cute. Oh my gosh, okay, so you guys know that I love this stencil because it's what I use to make the table runner and a bunch of the carrots and, oh, there's so many things that you could do with that. So that would be pretty. And then this one is not one that you would think of that would be great for napkins, but it totally would. Look at that sunflower, isn't that amazing? Or look at that bee. So you just have to be a little creative and um, there's tons of great stencils at Magnolia that you could do this project with. And I don't know if you're like me, but I love, um, I love cloth napkins. Even if we're eating on the sofa, I like to use cloth napkins. And these will wash up beautifully. They're not gonna fade or anything. The only thing is you may have to iron them unless you take them out of the dryer immediately when they're done and fold them right then. Then you'll be okay. But otherwise, if you leave them in the dryer after they're dry, they'll be, cotton is, just gets like that. Okay, so I wanna show you the first step. All right, so this is what the package looked like. Buffet napkins, 
I'm going to look this up and get you guys the, um, I'm going to see if I can find a direct link to the place that I bought these so that, and if you guys can order them if you want in all the different colors. Okay, and they come like this. <sighs> Super wrinkly, but still pretty darn nice. And they always have this tag on them, which I know they have to do it. It says, world market made in India, 100% cotton. But I have a pet peeve against a tag. So the first thing I always do is I always cut the tag off. And I did this all on all of the others too. And then before I stenciled, this is super exciting. I know you're going to love it. I'm just using my Magnolia Mister because that's what I have in here in my craft room. Put this stuff back so I don't accidentally spray it. And I'm just putting some distilled water on it. My iron is set in between cotton and linen. And I'm not giving these a perfect press, but they're crumpled enough that it could impact uh, you getting a good adhesion with your stencil. And so you might get a little bit of bleed. So I'm just ironing the whole entire thing, even though I'll only be stenciling on part of it. I just want these to be nice for whoever it is that I'm gonna pop it in the mail to. Maybe later today or possibly on Monday, depending on how much I can get accomplished. Okay, so good enough. And when, okay, when you're working with ink, when it is good and dry, which I would say is, gosh, At least a few hours um, you are going to want to heat set it with a hot iron and to do that you're just going to set your iron on cotton you're good and it will be dry your project will be dry you'll put um, something in between the stencil and your iron at like a, a thin tea towel or a piece of parchment paper and you're just gonna go over it for three or four minutes and then boom, it's washable and everything. I really love the ink from Magnolia. It's so nice to work with. And white is just, of course you could do this project in any color that you like, but this white just feels springy and fresh to me. So we're gonna be doing our stencil primarily in this area, which is the right very furthest out because that's what you will see when you fold your napkin and lay it on the table. And I'm using one of my favorite sets, which I talk about all the time, dungeon cords out of the way, called Floral Fantasy. It has all these beautiful pieces that are all similar in theme, uh, but are all slightly different. And, um, yeah, it's just awesome. So, and obviously I love them <laughs> because they're, they're stained, but they still work great. I've used them a ton on a ton of different things. Everything from like these, these little eggs that we made. Where is it, this one? Well, I've used it on a lot of different things. Anyways, it's a great stencil. It's super versatile, I'll just say that. Okay, so one of these already has this one on it, and the other one has this one on it. So we're just gonna play with two more, and then I'll have a repeat. Okay, so let's use this one. And um, normally, you would fuzz your stencil, either on like your jeans or a t-shirt, or on one of Magnolia's fuzzing towels that has the gray is the inside and that's where you can dry them. Um, ordinarily you would do that first, but this is um, going on fabric and you don't need to fuzz a stencil with fabric when you're going to put it on fabric. Okay, so let me look at this and see if I can figure out what is up and down. And then I'm just roughly laying it in the part of the napkin that would be open that would be showing on the top, okay? And then this is just some Magnolia ink, which I had somebody ask me today, and I might as well share with everyone. 
But when you get these, let me show you what they look like. I bought two, two whites because I use it so much. But when you first get them, they have this little silver foil on them. That's what keeps them nice until you use them, keeps them fresh, keeps them moist. I just use a knife or an X-Acto knife to cut around that ring. And then if there's any ink stuck on this little foil top, I just push it back in. I'm, I'm frugal. So I don't wanna waste any of this awesome stuff. Um, so this is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna use one of the little stir sticks that Magnolia has to put some blobs here. I don't know, I'll probably be putting some of this back in my jar. And I'm using a full cut apart squeegee because this is a bigger project. Normally when I get these, I cut them in half. This one I didn't. And I'm seriously, this is so easy. I'm gonna be careful because this isn't for my house. I want it to be good. So I'm gonna try not to go outside of the lines. But I'm just quickly pushing it through the holes on the stencil. And I'm looking to see, did I get everything? I'm gonna resist. The temptation, this is the biggest mistake people make, to keep going over and over and over it. I will peek to see, but it looks like I got good. And I'm gonna put all this back in my little pot. And then I'll stir it back in. And let's take a little peek and see how this looks. It's awesome. Oh my gosh, these are so fabulous. So I'm just throwing my stencil face, down, face side down with the, the part that has the ink on it in a little tub of water over here. Which way am I? Look how great that looks. Isn't that awesome? It's gonna go so pretty with the other ones. Okay, let's see, where do I wanna lay it? Lay it over my chair for a couple of hours. Okay, let's do another. So I had a piece of paper towel down, and this is one of those Wilton cake boards from Walmart. You get four of them for $4 that I love to craft on. They're so great. So I'm gonna flip my napkin over because a little bit of the ink did go through on it. And I'm gonna just lay the next one down on top of the napkin. And let's see, I'm gonna make sure, is this the one I already did? No. Okay, so we're gonna do this one next. And I apologize. My stencils are cruddy because I've used them so much, but this is just a sign. I mean, these are reusable, reusable, reusable. If you just take care of them, mine are still sticky. But when they become less sticky, that does not affect how they work. You're just gonna push them down good and just to hold the corner when you're doing your stencil, they still work just fine. So let me lay this down and see if I can figure out which way is up. I, if I had to guess, I would say this is up. And this is gonna go a little bit outside of this fold line right here, but that's okay. The majority of the stencil will be visible when um, you set your table. And these would be great for Easter, they'd be great for Mother's Day, they'd be great for spring, because they're this pretty um, grayish, bluish, or dusty blue color, they'd be great all summer long. I mean, really, honestly, you could use these for any occasion all year long, really. Okay, and I think you guys can see okay, although let me put my camera down just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna take my same squeegee and I've pushed my stencil on. I'm just looking to see where are the pieces that it is cut out, that it has the mesh holes. And I wanna show you guys a trick and talk about stencil stretching in just a second because I've had that question a lot lately too. And believe me, I have stretched some of my stencils too. I've heard from a couple people who said, oh no, I stretched my stencil, what do I do? I'm gonna tell you all about that. Okay, so I'm resisting the temptation to go over and over and over. 
I'm putting all this back in my pot. And I'm gonna stir it in. Okay, I'm gonna look. So, when you, this is everything you could ever want to know about stenciling napkins. I hope you appreciate this information that it's not boring. Uh, when you're lifting your stencils up, you want, if possible, if possible, if they're super stuck onto something like a piece of glass, a piece of metal, if you didn't fuzz them enough, you're going to have a risk of your stencil stretching more than when you're working on fabric. Um, I try to pull it up by the corner, and then as much as possible, I'll pull in a straight direction from top to bottom, bottom to top, or side to side. When you pull them and they're super adhered on there, they have not been fuzzed good enough or they're brand new, and you pull them up, you're gonna kind of stretch them if you pull them up side to side. So that's why it's so important to fuzz and that's why it's so important to pay attention to how you're pulling them up. So I'm just gonna pull it up like this. Voila! And pop it in my little tub of water over here because I want to be able to use these stencils for a long time to come. And this is what that looks like. Let's see. Isn't that pretty? It's gonna be amazing. Okay, let me set it over here. Okay, so if you have stretched one of your stencils um, because it wasn't fuzzed good enough or whatever, um, what you want, it's gonna have like a little curl it's gonna, you're gonna have a hard time getting it to lay flat. So a couple things, we're gonna do another, but let me just tell you this. A couple things that you can do are, you can put it in the sink or in the tub of cool water and kind of let it soak a little bit. And then when you get it out, if you want, you can take a antibacterial wipe, not a baby wipe, an antibacterial wipe and go over the back of it and then just pull it out with the sticky side up on your counter as much as possible to dry. And when it's dry, just rub it good on your sheet. I have some, which I won't dig out right now while I'm live, but I have some that I have done that too, because, I don't know, I just wasn't paying attention or I didn't fuzz it enough or whatever. I forget sometimes. And um, there's, you still can work them, they just kind of do this little curl. But when you put them on your project and push them down, they'll be fine. Okay, so we're gonna use the last little piece. And, let's see, I wanna be going the right direction. And it's just this little flower. So I'm gonna put it here. I might come back and do it a second time. I don't know, I'm gonna see how it looks. If I did, I would come, because this is ink and I don't want to mess these up for, for whoever's going to get them, I would come back and I would wash this and dry it before I used it again. And I would let this dry. So I'm just sort of centering this, pushing it down, doing my little blob. And... to see did I get it in all the holes on this mesh I'm taking my excess off putting it back in my pot and then scraping it down and let's take a peek and see how it looks it looks great I don't know I'll see how this looks with the other napkins if it needs to have another piece on it or if it would be cute just, you know, by itself, along with these other ones that we did that are dry. So can you see that? It's gonna be upside down, but I don't know. I'll see. I may add another one to it. You could also do something like this specific for a season if you want it. Um, like with some of the Easter stuff or, I mean, there's just so many things that you can do. Okay, let's do one more. I'm gonna flip my towel over and pull out the last one. Looking to see how the fold goes. Let's do this big one again because it's so amazing. This corner one, I love it. And I have used this so much. Oh my gosh, 
this is a good investment if you're looking for stencils that you can use over and over. It'd be great on a t-shirt. It'd be great on a lot of things. And you can just use bits and pieces of this or the whole thing. It's totally up to you. Wow, there's almost 500 people on. Thank you guys for joining me. And look at all those stars that people have given me. You guys are so good to me. I know I said that in the video that I just did before this, but people say that um, Facebook and the internet is a really cold, impersonal atmosphere, but I do not feel that way at all. And I hope you don't either. I mean, I feel like I'm getting to know a lot of you guys, and maybe it's because faith is such a big part of what I do here and the interaction that I have with you. I don't know, but it doesn't feel impersonal to me at all. And I hope it doesn't feel impersonal to you. I feel like I know you guys, and I've heard that from a lot of you too, that you feel like you know me, warts and all. <laughs> and the one thing I do want to say is I appreciate... You know, it's taken me a long time to get to this point where I understand where my camera is, <laughs> where my hands are, and get it in a position that you can see everything well and have decent lighting. So a lot of the videos I did last year, you know, they're just, the projects are great. The, um, the technical aspects of the video are not, but you guys are so good to me. And for the most part, you're so forgiving about that because I cannot go back and change anything uh, about what I've, you know, the mistakes I've made. Uh, anyways, I think I have it mostly figured out now. So I am just looking to see if I got the little point of all these leaves. Sometimes it's easy to miss that. And then I'm going to take whatever excess blobs there are on here. Ah, ooh, I almost went out of the line there. I better stop. Put all this back. You can see how, um, and I've made so many projects with this one little tub of white ink. You can see how it doesn't take hardly anything. So let's take a peek. This is the prettiest piece of this floral fantasy gorgeous. So we have one repeat, but I think that's okay. And it's this one. It's the prettiest one. Anyways, um, what else do I want to tell you? Get this out of the way so I don't get anything on it. Um, I would let these dry a few hours. And then I um, would heat set them with a hot iron set on cotton um, for three or four minutes. Uh, because these are napkins and they would be used and washed frequently, I'm going to flip them over and heat set the back side of them too. Just because I want whoever it is that I'm going to send them to, to, you know, be able to get you good juice out of these. Life is short. So use the pretty napkins, please. Whoever I send these to, please use them. Please, please, please. Don't put them in your cabinet and save them for a special occasion. Every day is a special occasion. So that's pretty much it. If you want to look at floral fantasy, I put a link down here with all these flowers at the bottom of the page. But let me know in the comments if you need me to send you a link. Um, if you can't find floral fantasy, there's a little um, tool at the top of the page that looks like a magnifying glass. And if you just type in that, that search bar, floral, fantasy, or just floral, it'll pull it up. But if you need me to send you a direct link specifically to that, um, let me know that too. And then keep in mind that we're using ink on these fabric projects today, not chalk paste. Ink will be permanent after I heat set it. Chalk paste will not ever become permanent enough to be able to actually use. I mean, if you, there's no way you can heat set chalk paste on a fabric and have it be usable and washable and able to get wet. Um, so you definitely need ink. The inks all have a white cap. And that's pretty much all I wanna say. Um, so if you want to, I'm gonna be live again one more time today. I feel like I'm trying to catch up from being gone my whole three days. <laughs> uh, 
Um, if you want to see what I have coming up today or you want to see Christ in Crafting tomorrow, and it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. Do a this or a this. Um, say something in the comments. I mean, only if you want. And make sure up here that you've already liked and actually followed this page, DIY Dreaming. And um, that is basically how, that's part of the uh, algorithm thing with Facebook, which I don't even pretend to understand. But if you want them to serve you, my videos and photos and stuff, those are a couple of the things that help you have a better chance to get that. So thank you guys for joining me. And um, I did announce in the earlier video, the two names that I pulled earlier for those blessing boxes, which I put out in the family room. And they were Paige Archer and Kathy Barber. Uh, so if you're here, um, congratulations. I'm excited to send that to you. I hope you'll use those table runners and the other things that I put in the box. Use them, don't save them for a special occasion. Today's a special occasion. Alrighty, I'll see you guys later. Have a great um, rest of your, oh gosh. It's not even really morning anymore. Have a great rest of your early morning or early afternoon, and I'll be back live in just a little while.